what's up what's up what's up what's up this is bright future tv good evening good morning good afternoon depending on the time that you'll be watching this video live um there is a great news i'm so much happy that this is happening for the nigerians okay i'm so happy now there are a lot of nigerians who end up being in prison okay not because they have done so much crime that we're supposed to keep them in prison so in these cases um there's no justice for such people they just put them in cells they just put them anywhere they want to put them they just keep them in prison instead of them to um have a proper lawyer to fight their cases for them they just throw them in prison just for nothing sake because um let me say the government doesn't care uh, people don't care about them when you are when you travel you are on your own a whole lot of things okay but this honorable his name is honorable um osaze osem Mweji, something like that i'm sorry for the name okay this honorable has submitted his petition at the italian embassy in london uk that he demand immediate release of all these nigerians who have been arrested and sent into prison in fact it has some list of names that he's mentioning this is this is this is so amazing it i'm so happy such thing can happen so you know it is time it is time that nigerians collaborate together it is time they come together that's why i keep saying let's love one another you know, for such thing to happen, it's a great deal. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that this man could at least help a lot of people to come out by submitting his petition to the Italian embassy in UK. It's a great move that I hope and I know before this month will end, or let me say before 15th of October, many of these people that this man is mentioning in his name, you know, um we'll, they will release them immediately or they will give them a legal assistance to those people who are in prison so that they will come out because most of them don't deserve to even be there just because of one or two things they will just put them there because they don't have any anyone to help them sometimes even the, the, to speak the language is the biggest problem for these innocent people so this honorable has come out of the list guys listen and watch the video yourself ciao Amachuku is from Anambra State, Nigeria. Aslem Ewa John is from Edo State. Abebe Jackson from Lagos State. Daniel Ju Chicken is from Imo State. Efeto Bore Organic Tega is from Delta State. Sam David Spliss is from Delta State. Atada Kidom from Edo State. Inarunda Kenneth from Edo State. And Essien Michael from Akwa Ibom State. These people are still in prison as we speak. Aside from this, I can confirm that I have the names of over 200 other Nigerians that have been or have been detained under the same Article 416 rules. On the 28th of October 2020, 17 Nigerians were arrested as mafia and the only evidence that was shown on TV was a kitchen knife and a clip of communal fight between the Jaw and the Shakiri over 10 years ago in Nigeria. Their trial has been postponed again to October. On the 26th of April this year, a further 51 Nigerians were arrested in Bari for being Nigerian mafias. And the only clip shown on television was on video by one of the famous actors as proof of evidence. On the 26th of September 2020, 20 Nigerians were sentenced to 140 years and the appeal started on the 20th of September after they've already spent two years in prison. The same forged green bag used against all these individuals was proven to be a forged manual by a competent court in, in my case on the 29th of May 2021. My case is simple. This is notable and upright judge, Italian judges have concluded following a long trial in my case that the same evidence the Green Bible used to convict all these Nigerian men who no doubt are certain short trials offered by the prosecution was formed and therefore concluded that there is no such thing as Nigerian mafia. It should therefore follow that these men should be released and are free from these charges being leveled 
against them too. Our demands, in light of the foregoing, the hereby make the following demands. The immediate, unconditional release of all Nigerians detained across Italy in various prisons, falsely accused of belonging to Nigerian Mafia using Article 416B. Fair and adequate compensation to those Nigerians who served their various country sentences. Having been unjustly tried and convicted under Article 416B of the Italian Criminal Code, based on the forged Green Bible, fair and adequate compensation to those Nigerians, including myself, who were unjustly detained, made to go through the rigorous of trial, eventually had the charges of mafia involvement dismissed. The continuous harassment, profiling, arrest, detention, and prosecution of some Nigerians under the guise of Article 416B should stop forthwith because there is nothing like the Nigerian Mafia. A court of competent jurisdiction in Italy has so found on the 29th of May 2021. It is my position that Italy, being a member of the European Union, having subscribed to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights of the United Nations, should and must follow due process in prosecuting Nigerians and indeed anybody who commits any crime in Italy. I now make an urgent call for you to ensure that justice, as indicated above, is seen to be done in these cases. I conclude, we will be aware that I have already carried out peaceful protests in front of the Italian embassy in Lagos on the 26th of August 2021. You will also be aware that we are conducting a peaceful protest in front of the Italian embassy in London today the 30th of September 2021, where we expect to hand deliver this letter to the Minister of Justice of Italy, to the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Italy, and to the Minister of Internal Affairs in Italy. In view of the urgency of this matter and seriousness of the issue raised, I expect to get a satisfactory response to this letter adequately addressing the issues raised here within four weeks of receipt, failing which we shall mobilize to carry out peaceful protests at other Italian embassies worldwide. I shall also take steps to submit petition to the European Parliament in Brussels and the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg, France, against the Italian government and the chief prosecutors of these cases, Dr. Stefano Castellani. I sincerely hope that this will be this will not be necessary, and that the requests made are taken seriously. I do not, with grave disappointment, however, that a similar letter was sent to His Excellency at the Embassy in Abuja, Nigeria, on the 30th of August through DHL, to which we have not received an acknowledgement, let alone a response. I do hope your response will be more forthcoming and engaging with a view to settling these matters, which raise enormous and exclusive If not thousands of Nigerian men in your prisons perpetrated by Italian authorities and the government. Should the matter remain unsatisfactorily resolved, please note that we will have no choice but to consider laying complaints against those responsible, including Dr. Stefano Castellani, before the European Human Rights Court Commission and the Court of Human Rights for gross and unwarranted violation of my fundamental human rights and the rights of some Nigerians who have been erroneously detained in Italian prisons. Please ensure that any responses are sent to my legal representatives whose contact details have been set out below in the United Kingdom, in Italy, and of course, in Nigeria. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Um, we're going to be taking questions from, uh, from uh, this, this is not the live stream. Uh, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I saw them. They they better know.